Hello, hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Volvo Christian, and welcome to another video starring the EX30. So this is a press car that I'm lending from Volvo Car Norway. I've had it for a week, uh, week's time now. And there's definitely a lot of good things to say about the EX30. And also, some bad things. There are both some bad things and some ugly things to say. And those things will be said, but not in this video. This is just a funny little uh, twist to the EX story. So in this video, I'm only going to talk about the quirks, the weird little aspects with the EX30. Some of the aspects can be or has been somewhat annoying and some are just funny. But this is just some quirks that I have discovered that I thought I was going to show you in this little short video. So I hope you will enjoy it. For the first two quirks, we're jumping over or jumping home in my garage. You see, the first quirk appears when you're walking towards the car in the garage. I have this proximity sensor on, so the car unlocks. I can see the battery is, no, is now at uh, 99%. And you want to unplug the charger. But it's stuck. There's a light indicator here, but you can't push it or something to release the cable. If the car is so smart, then it should know that I want to get off and get moving. But you can't do it here. So you have to go into the menu and push a button that says end. End charging. And then, you see, charging is ended. And then you can take out this cable. I think it's weird that you don't have a button here. It should be a button. Or if you have the proximity sensor on, then it should also un unlock um, the charging cable. Um, but maybe it does that when you are at 100%. I don't know. Uh, I have had some troubles uh, charging this thing. It takes forever to charge it up, uh, this uh, home charger. Uh, my own XC40, if I park it late at night and I'm heading out early in the morning, even if I have a low state of charge, I will get a high 90 almost 100 percent but this thing charges dog slow uh, maybe like one third of the pace of my uh, xc40 really really slow but maybe that's just something with this exact press car i'm not quite sure but uh, it charges really really slow so that was my quirk number one why it won't open up this charging uh, cable and that takes us elegantly over to my point number two, and that is this situation here. That is quirk number two. We have two of these covers. I can understand the lower cover, that's the CCS cover, because sometimes you are AC charging um, outside, and you want to have this uh, DC pin uh, covered up. But why the heck do you have this thing? Why do you need a cover for the AC connector? It's not like you have this open. I don't know, you have this cover, why, why aren't this cover enough? Why can't they put an additional rubber seal to it or something? Just avoid this thing here, but now, because now you have two, and there's obviously some people that don't like this rubber thing hanging on your paint. And now we have two. My XC40 has one, and this thing has two. Uh, that's progress, that's progress right there. So that's quirk number one and quirk number two, right there. Let's go. So that was the first two. Somewhat annoying, and, uh, but okay, let's uh, get on to uh, point number three. And now for the third thing, we are jumping in to talk about the stock situation. Because that is somewhat quirky. On the right side now, you have the gear selector. So when you have push it down for uh, drive let's see it's kind of pissed since the door is open but it's down for drive up for reverse and when you are in drive you can just tap it once again down to activate listen, the pilot assist or the adaptive cruise and that means that all the wipe both the wipers and the indicator are now on the left stock so you have this multifunctional stock Personally, not a fan, but this is just a quirky part. Qu quirky part. I'm just gonna flip the camera so you can see it better. You see, 
here we have the stock. We have the front and rear uh, washer and uh, to activate them. But we have also a twist wheel here. And this is the main functionality on the stock situation for the wipers. There's one twist up for auto mode, one more twist for uh, a constant speed at, at one, and then the full speed at three. But this thing can be twist, twisted and twisted also the other way. You can just twist and twist this little wheel. Why aren't there a bottom and an end? Because if I don't know where I am, if I'm at one or auto, I just twist it down and then go one up for auto. But this is <laughs> this is a weird little little thing. And then for my quirk number four, oh, actually this panel here. You know, you have uh, these buttons here for the windows. You can press it down, it goes automatically down. But if you want to take it up again, there's not an automatic function, you have to hold it. And maybe this is just a bug with this EX30. But here comes the quirky part. I was trying to take down the rear windows, and I struggled to activate this dumbass capacitive switch. Uh, so I just stretch down to the buttons in the back one here, or in the back of this center console. So, I took it down, and then when I wanted to take it up again, one press. That's the only window that's automatic. The only one, uh, all, all the others, you have to hold them. <laughs> Probably just a bug, but if it's not, maybe it's automatic in the back and manually in the front. I don't know, but that's a quirky little thing, maybe just with this press car. And now for quirk number five, the touch screen. There's so many elements here that's kind of quirky, but uh, I'm going to show you a couple of them. Uh, I can probably flip the monitor or I hope you can see this, but say you are driving, put it in drive. Say you're driving and you want to adjust the seats ever so slightly. Just a little adjustment. And then this message appears. Driver adjustment changed. Let's see, it's a long message. And this happens every time you adjust. Uh, adjustment change, save to profile, profile or restore to previous. So you can, if you save it, let's see. You can save it and then the next time it's saved but just a little adjustment and then this message appears it's somewhat annoying but uh, yeah save again and then if you want to uh, adjust your lights and then now we can move the um, camera hope this is visible now so say you want to adjust the lights you are in drive and you want to adjust the lights so you have a quick button here on this car icon. Just press it once, and then you have this icon for the light settings. So now I have park lights. Very convenient if you're stopping uh, on the side of the road, shift it to park. But then you want to take the, your regular lights back on again. So you press auto, but you have to confirm it on the steering wheel. Now that is both a quirk and dumb. And this is every single time. Imagine you ha you're driving and you have managed to put your finger here once, twice, three times, but that is not enough. That's not, are you sure you want to change your light? Yes, I'm sure. And yeah, uh, a little digression, but it's not always you, you press the uh, correct spot, so you have to do it a couple of times. So I don't know, that is super quirky and super annoying. Why do you need to do it? confirm it on the steering wheel? Oh, the quirkiness. And then the last quirk I can show you with this infotainment screen. Actually, the shortcut buttons. You see here, you have a shortcut for um, your maximum uh, air condition and also your glove compartment. Let's see, take away this. So you can shortcut to open. But if that is not enough, and these are preset, you can't change them. 
you can press the car icon again and then you also have a shortcut here for the glove compartment. Why do you need two? Who the heck ignores these two and presses this one just to open the glove compartment or to activate the full fan? Why do you need these? These two should be configurable so I can select my own uh, my own shortcuts because now and also this you have your hazards but you also have your hazards up in the roof panel so why do you need it two places and you also have a max heater so you have this um, actually three places here there and also in the roof line three places <laughs> this is just and this is just some of the quirks with this infotainment I, I think there's there's so many weird little uh, things but I, we can't take them all so we're gonna end uh, on the outside so it's time to wrap up this quirky video and we're gonna end with the most quirky element out of them all in the EX30 and that is Volvo's obsession with making patterns into plastic elements and also their obsession to display Swedish forests and some moose and wildlife because it's really important to let everyone know that this car are made in Sweden along with the Swedish forests oh no it's not well well it, it's actually made in China but uh, maybe Chinese forests either way Volvo are Swedish you can say what the heck you want and this car is produced in China but soon it's going to be produced in Belgium as well but that was a little digression now it's time for some wildlife here in Volvo Christian you have probably seen this this is the thing under the center console a little storage room you can take out and I'm not sure how close I should get to the camera I haven't flipped the screen Let's see, flip the screen now. I hope this are visible. But you have a Swedish moose, some forests, the sun and more forest thing going on on both sides. You've probably seen this. I will take a picture of this if the video quality aren't uh, too bad, not good on the, the nuances. But um, yeah, now that is quite funny. Talking about China, there's some Chinese lettering on the top here. But either way, Swedish forest, Volvo, made in China, <laughs> made in China, I kind of like that, but okay, so, uh, but that, that is not the only thing, we have a small one in the back here, this filthy thing, Oi. my suitcase, uh, we have this uh, will it fit guide, and this I won't bother to grab on video just take it a picture of it and overlay and will it fit I haven't really understood the will it fit guide here you can see it fits uh, one lamp one robot one golf clubs but does it mean it doesn't fit anything else or the size of this lamp I don't know the only, the only way I think of it, you push it in, if, if it fits, it fits, if it don't fit, it don't fit. Uh, yeah. But then, the last thing I want to show you with this imprinted plastic. I didn't know about it before, like two or three days ago, when I was in the trunk. So, let's jump around. Because under the trunk, under this cover here, it should be possible to just remove it. It's kind of annoying that it won't stay up, but look at this. I can try to grab a picture or just... I should have something to hold it up with. Uh, I'm not sure what I can take, but I will try to grab a picture. Because we have a car here. And what car? Is it the EX30 maybe? And then we have uh, obviously a moose and some Swedish forest, a sun. Or a cloud, I don't know, it's a, probably a cloud. Let's see if I can do this, one-handed. Uh, let's see, pretty cool actually. And here we have the, I gotta have the car. Let's see. 
grab a couple of pictures like an overlay. But this is a cool thing you don't really notice because you... Uh, maybe you notice it if you are awake. But, uh, and if you use this, this is pretty cute little thing. But, I don't know, maybe there's more Easter eggs. Maybe there's more printed plastic covers. But this is the three things I have discovered. Center console that everyone knows. Will it fit? But then, surprisingly enough for me, this thing under the front. So that was it. That was my quirky video with the EX30. And if you know or if you think of any other quirks that you have uh, discovered with the EX30, then feel free to comment it down below. I would love to hear if there's any more quirkiness or more Easter eggs. There's not many, but there's a few. Uh, you know, there's other cars that spray them across the exterior and interior, but this is just subtle, discreet. It's Volvo. But that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye bye.